What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be the best video on my channel by far, and that may be a bit biased, but 100% my favorite video because this video is the video where I get to reveal to you guys my new car, my dream car since it came out. I've always just been absolutely in love with this car. It was always the wallpaper on my laptop all throughout school. It was my go-to car in any car game. I went to formal in this car, which I can talk about later, but uh, yeah, I'm so thrilled. It's been a little bit longer than it should have. It got stuck at a shop getting work done for about three weeks, which should have probably only been a one week job, but that's right, we've finally got the car, and oh man, I've, I've just been enjoying it. I've actually, this is the third day that I've had it now. The first day I was meant to film, the audio got a bit chopped up, and then I just got carried away with just enjoying the car. Yesterday I was just showing everyone the car and just, again, just enjoying it. And today I really wanted to film and it's just been so windy. So it, there hasn't been much time for me to actually be able to film because you wouldn't be able to hear the audio. So I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. So it is time to show you guys my dream car. If you wanna pause now and put your final guesses, I know there's been heaps of people that have guessed the right car, but there have been so many people that have guessed the completely wrong car. So quickly comment now, don't cheat, comment now what you think the car is. And uh, if you get it right, then good on you, because I've tried to hide it, but I'm, I haven't been that good at it, I'll be honest. But I won't keep you waiting anymore. Here is my new car. GTR. I cannot even believe that I'm saying that or filming this video to be honest, but here we are, a whole lot of sacrificing away in the mines has finally paid off. Another thing you will notice too, where I'm filming today is uh, in my new house. Uh, if you didn't know, Gemma, my partner and I have been building. It took over three years to get in this house. We are finally in as of about three months ago which is when this whole process started of getting this car. So but I knew there was a lot of things all happening at once. I didn't want to reveal what this car was until I had it here because it is an import. It, got, it came from Japan. Uh, there is a few obviously uncertainties when you import a car. Thankfully, I did it through a guy named Himi, which if you're in the Jap scene, you definitely would have heard of him. He is importing one of these and selling it like every week it seems. And all of them are always just so, so good. And uh, yeah, huge shout out to you, Himmy, for making this process so, so easy and getting me a car as gorgeous as that one. Now, it is a bit windy here, so forgive me if there is a bit of wind noise. However, I thought you guys may want to see a bit of a walk around. So, starting at the front of this absolutely incredible machine, we have got the Lightning Strike headlights. Now, they come factory in the 2017 models. However, from what I've seen, the indicators here are actually like a bulb, an orange bulb in the 2017 ones, whereas I have got the LEDs in it. Uh, I've got my new plate. If you can figure out what that means, then nice work. It definitely uh, splits the crowd. So shout out to you if you can figure out what they mean nice and fast. Now, a few little things here and there are a bit, I don't know if they're rare, but hear me, the guy I got it from has probably had over a hundred of these go through his hands and he's never seen this little carbon fiber lip type thing it almost looks like a mustache I'm not sure if I love it or hate it but it does have that it is on the stock wheels I opted to run spaces so 20 mil in the front 25 in the rear 
for bloody good fitment. So that's about it for the front. We've got some carbon fiber vents on the hood. Some more carbon fiber there with the GTR logo, which is sick. This is cool, some carbon fiber at the bottom of the mirror, as well as little fins. And a matchless crowd racing tinted mirror either side, which looks very cool from in the car. Moving on, it does have titanium tips. I'm not sure what the exhaust is. I know it has Y pipes that are gretty, but I'm not sure if the full system is gretty. And that honestly is about it cosmetically. It, it is on coilovers, which does give it a bit of a, a stiff ride. But uh, God, this thing handles so good. It is on, I believe it's called Aragosta or something like that. Uh, Three-way fully adjustable coilovers. They are not cheap, so I'm very grateful it already has them. And oh, one more thing, it does have the newer model tail lights as well, where like the reverse lights are almost like a diamond. Um, so it does have them too. Now moving into the interior. First thing you will see is this incredible mind steering wheel. That thing is so expensive. Just for this is over a thousand dollars. So very grateful. This is everything that it's come with too. I haven't done anything to it yet. Like I said, with the exterior, the, uh, the mirrors look super, super cool from inside. Um, what else? It's got these little red rings that have sort of been clipped in, which tie in the red little accents all throughout the interior here, which again is because it is the black edition. We have carbon fiber, carbon fiber, absolutely everywhere in here. At the bottom around the gear shift selector, behind it, all over the dash, around the radio, inside like where you uh, control the windows and that is about it there is zero room in the back seats here as you can see there is like literally no room I have my seat up against the back one which is a very JDM car type thing same on both sides uh, what else I believe all of these LEDs have been switched out for some brighter ones which is great um, oh and this smart mirror so when you start the car it's actually got a screen here that tells you the time, the date, all that sort of stuff. And inbuilt with this is, uh, uh, without incriminating myself, it is, it alerts you when there are a certain cameras nearby, is, is what I'll say. So, very handy to have. This was definitely a, uh, a street racer's car over in Japan, which I think I love. I'm going to tell myself I love, because, uh, Hopefully that means it hasn't been abused, but this car honestly presents so, so well for its age. It is very common in these, along with every other Jap car, to get dash cracks. This does not have a single crack, no chips anywhere. The only place you can really see where is uh, like in the mirrors, uh, sorry, in the window switches there. And that's it, like there's no cracks in any of the leather seat. Like obviously there's a bit of tiny bits of wear, but no cracking. Nothing at all. It is genuinely so nice in here, and uh, yeah, it's definitely my uh, new my new favourite hangout spot. That's for sure, because when that is your view, you really can't complain. Now coming through to under the bonnet, there really isn't anything as fancy. It does have the Nismo engine cover, which purely this bit of plastic right here is seven hundred Australian dollars, which is mind blowing to me. Why you would pay that, but. Thankfully I don't need to because it's already here. As you can see there is the adjustments for the coilovers, which is very nice. They are very stiff at the moment, so I may even try softening up a little bit. I have a HKS sticker, I'm not sure if it's running HKS filters or not, but that clearly is, it was at one point or by the looks of it, a very long time ago. But very stock looking under here. I do want to get some uh, some nice pot filters to get a little bit more induction noise and blow off valves as well, but that'll all come with time. Now, if you're new to the GTR sort of scene and you don't know what this car is or what it comes with, that thing right there is a 3.8 litre twin turbo V6. Makes, I think, around 480 horsepower uh, from the factory. However, I have a little cob port tuner, which I'll be plugging in soon. And just with a simple tune, you can make about 500 at the wheels, maybe around that. And uh, 
yeah, just with one simple tune, no mods required, instant increase in power, which is sick. Um, with the same thing, I'm going to tune the transmission so the shift shifts are a bit sharper and uh, gets rid of some of the clunks that this car just comes factory with. It is a race car that you're just happens that you're able to uh, register, so it does have some whines and some clunks, which the car isn't broken. It is purely just an option that everyone gets when they get a GTR. Now, the wheels that we currently have on are the stock ones, like I've said, with the keyword being currently, I have already got a new set of rims ordered. In fact, they're just behind that wall there with brand new tires ready to go on. I just wanted to enjoy it with its stock wheels and uh, just take it all in. Cause, like, look at this. Imagine waking up, looking out, and that is on your driveway every single day. That is just nuts. That is the coolest car on earth, and you cannot tell me otherwise. But anyway, another thing that is worth mentioning as well, it has, I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's got a full like immobilizer, Japanese security system, so it will not start unless I do some trickery, which I'm not gonna put out on the uh, internet, but very, very cool. So peace of mind that not any, you can't just get in and start this car, it won't move. So that's very, uh, very good for me because in this day and age, these cars are getting quite, quite expensive and that's the last thing I would want to, to be the reason that I ever had to get rid of this thing was because someone else took it. So that is a very important mod, especially now, if you haven't got an immobilizer on your expensive, cool cars, go get one because this thing ain't going anywhere unless I want it to. So very important mod. So one thing that I don't like about this car, it does have a scratch on the rear bar. I'll show you guys real quick. So what to be expected from a car that is 15 or so years old, there is that tiny scratch there. So it isn't too noticeable in the grand scheme of things, but I don't like it. So I'm getting it resprayed tonight. We're gonna to go do the prep work at a, at a paint shop and Tomorrow it'll probably get sprayed, so that'll be fixed. I was going to wrap it, but uh, the wrap won't come in time because I am road tripping this car from here in beautiful Brisbane down to Melbourne for Adam LC's World Tour, and uh, I can't be going with a scratch. So a few Melbourne people, if you're going to the World Tour, this car has been accepted into the show and shine. It'll have the new wheels on it, but not the wrap yet. That's enough of the boring stuff. I know you want to see this thing ripping, so I'll hook up the GoPro inside and uh, we'll go for a fun drive, shall we? So here we are on board the GTR. Oh. <laughs> that is just absurd. That is proper absurd. I have the trans in race mode. So the shifts are extra spicy, it holds the gears a bit longer. Now, you will notice it has got quite a humbling feature where any extra percentage of body fat will jiggle. <laughs> now, that is from the coilovers I've got. And yes, it is rather humbling, I will say that. But man, it makes for an extremely exciting feeling ride on the road, like just throw it into any corner and just pulls like nothing else I almost feel like I'm doing it a disservice driving it on such bad roads like it should be getting thrown into big bank turns on a racetrack somewhere you know now by no stretch of the imagination am I anything like any of the presenters at Top Gear or at least when it was Top Gear was good but I'm gonna do my best to somehow summarize into words how this car feels. Now I know the GoPro footage may not be crystal clear. There's probably gonna be a bit of wind noise and stuff, but just listen. that you ask it to do it. Wow. Now, again, there is a few whines and clunks in this car 
it is a race car. It is gonna make race car noises, as well as you may hear a few little alarm chimes. That is what I was saying earlier, the uh, camera detector. I won't say what type of camera it detects, but you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this car, the amount of attention, the road presence it has is unlike anything. The Falcon was loud. It was obnoxiously loud on gate. The color was gold, it pops. This is just a white car that, for someone that isn't a car person, you would think just blends in, but it just doesn't. So every single person that sees this car just can't take their eyes off it. And I, I can't blame them. I was the same person that wouldn't stop staring at it either. This thing is just incredible and it just demands your attention is the best way I could put this thing. So that noise is the noise I was talking about. Now, it, unrelated, there is also a red light camera at the lights that I'm pulling up to and a speed camera. Whoever owned this before, thank you very much, sir or madam. Now the keen-eyed viewers may notice a certain logo just here. If you aren't following me on Instagram, one, do that, Oz Automotive. And uh, you would know that we have brought out our uh, Oz Automotive t-shirt, our first ever design, which is of the Falcon. I will put a photo just here if I remember. And uh, I couldn't do it dirty and go straight to a R35. Falcon owners, huh? No, I couldn't do my Falcon dirty and give the 35 the first bit of uh, merch, so. I had to pay respects and oh that is a nice f6 and uh sorry and yeah get the g6e on the shirt the next one i do will be the g6e uh will be the gtr so whatever stock i have left is probably the last i'll ever do of falcon merch um, obviously that may change it may not i'm not sure but regardless if you want to get yourself a shirt support the channel support me then just send me a message on instagram again oz automotive and if we have the, the stock left, then we'll ship it out. We've got shirts in Western Australia, in Northern Queensland, obviously locally, New South Wales, South Australia, Victoria. Just We just need a Northern Territory person to buy a shirt and we've got them Australia wide, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, enough talking. Let's do some driving. Oh, I'm gonna get in so much trouble in this thing. Oh God, it's so fast. Now when I say it's so fast, it's not a fast that's like, you're scared fast. Like the Falcon, when you floored it, you shit yourself because you weren't sure if where you were pointing when you started to floor it is where you're actually gonna end up. Cause the arse end just kicks out and you just sort of pray. This, it's just goes where you point it it just goes there and it goes there so fast it's not a scary fast it's just like a mind-blowing fast if that sort of makes sense i don't know a lot of this video may just be rambling i'm probably gonna have to cut out a whole lot of it if you like the more in-depth sort of talking let me know but i'm just bloating my thoughts as they're coming to me i've been like this for three days now just completely in awe of this mind-blowing bit of racing machinery I just oh, if you can afford it get a GTR hire a GTR for a day like I've never even launched this thing I actually can't because I've got a code for my TPMS the tire pressure monitoring system or whatever it is um, and I'm not sure if that's what is stopping me but I also have the coil over so I can't put the factory like switches of the suspension into race mode, which I believe you need all three of them in race mode to activate launch control. I don't have that, so I'm gonna have to work out a way to code that out because why have a GTR if you can't launch it? If you can't test out that zero to 100 in 2.9 seconds, then what are you doing, bro?
So the way my maps has decided to take me on this journey I'm on just so happens to be through a tunnel. And you know what that means. Oh, oh, oh. just edited the whole video and sure enough I didn't film an outro so what better time than now to thank everyone that's made it this far I know it's a long video and uh, hopefully it isn't too long that you didn't want to watch it a lot of it is honestly just me blurting out just my pure excitement that I didn't really want to crop it because that's just my true feelings I've just been so excited and so happy with this car that I felt like it would be a bit of an injustice to sort of just crop that out just to make a video a bit shorter so if you made it this far, thank you very much. That honestly, it pushes the video up in the algorithm if people stick through to the end. So thank you very much for that. Every little bit helps. And uh, if you haven't already, please smash the like button, subscribe and comment something below. Do you want to see me do a couple races against some old Falcons that we're friends with? Or what do you want to see? Do you want to see drag strip track videos? Like what type of content do you want to see? Because there's not many people doing vlog style content with a GTR, so any ideas you have, let me know in the comments below. If you need a shirt, I've got shirts behind me. Uh, not all sizes are left. We've got large, extra large, 2XL, and that's it at the moment. So if you're any of those sizes, uh, actually, I think we do have more over there as well. So whatever size you need, let me know, and if I have it, we'll make it happen, as well as banners. They are back in stock, a long awaited time, which is this design here. This is obviously a small version, but Oswald Automotive with the Japanese text underneath. So if you're wanting to support the channel and uh, help do some cool stuff on a GTR, then just hit me up on Instagram at Oswald Automotive underscore and yeah, we'll ship some stuff out to you and make it happen. So thank you very much again. I hope you appreciate the video. I hope you like the new car and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.